Hi there. Today I'm sharing with you my newest, most favorite flow. I can't get enough of it. I love teaching it. I love seeing the expression on my clients' faces in the middle of this flow. It's called Taking Flight. And within Taking Flight, I have another series that I call the Flying Teaser. So it's a lot of fun. The heart rate is going to get up. A little bit of um, high intensity interval training for sure. Um, and it's fun. It's different. So um, I have my foot bar on the middle shelf and I have one heavy spring. On my reformer, that's one green. I'm going to start facing this way. And I call this a pelvis press. I'm going to curl. I don't know if you can see, but I have my toes curled over the back of the box. It's going to give me a little extra stability. Now, I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to grab my straps on the D-ring right there. My ropes are a little bit longer than some studios, so if, you're sh if your ropes are shorter, you might reach up a little bit higher. But for me, this is just right, so you might want to play around with it. I'm going to connect under those shoulders, so I'm nice and secure in that shoulder girdle, and I'm going to lift up from that pelvic floor, creating a nice, strong trunk. So let's get started. I'm going to inhale, just practicing. I'm going to lift up and then I'm going to exhale, come right back down. Notice my feet. They're kind of they're holding me on, giving me a little bit of extra stability. Now I'm going to layer on some more movement. As I inhale and lift, I'm going to pull my hands back and then right back down. Typically in class, I've been doing sets of 10 for this, but for time's sake today, I'm just going to do about four to five. So I'm going to do three more. For three, Two, so I'm really drawing those shoulder blades down. I'm definitely feeling the quads. I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna stay up high. Glutes are tight to keep my, my pelvis pressed forward. Otherwise, I might tip forward. I'm just gonna pull it back for five. It's not as slow as the normal chest expansion. For four, three, two, last one right here and one. Now, I'm carefully going to take my right foot. It's going to come down onto the headrest. I'm going to walk my hands up a little higher on the ropes. For me, it's the tape tart of the rope. Now, all of my weight is going to be in that right foot. I'm going to hinge forward just a little bit, but my knee is going to stay down for my left leg for just the first few reps. So, I'm going to draw those shoulder blades down, pull it down. This is the taking flight part. If you look right here, I could take flight and soar. I'm going to do one more. Now we're going to layer on a challenge. So if your clients want to, they can stay here. If they want to add a little extra challenge. You lengthen the back leg, taking the knee off the box. Slowly pull it down for three more. Drawing it down, two, last one. Now I'm going to go a hair lower. I'm going to go a little bit lower. My shoulders are not rounded. I'm drawing those shoulder blades down, spine is long. Tricep press for four. Three, I am definitely feeling this in the right leg. This is a lot of leg work. It looks like arm work. Definitely feeling the arms, but more, it's in the leg. So now I'm going to go back to that pelvis press. Bring both knees back on. Walk the hands back to the D-ring. Start seated. We're going to do four to five here. I'm going to inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down. Four. Three. Two, last one, we're going to stay high this time. Hold it right here. Going to continue to pull for four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to take the left foot, bring it down onto the headrest, right there like that. I'm going to walk my hands up to the taped part of the rope. So for the first four, three to four, I'm going to keep the knee down. I'm going to slightly hinge forward, connect under those shoulders. I'm working the lats right here, but guess what? That left quad is already feeling it because I'm keeping my weight distributed over my left foot. One more. Now, here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of balance challenge right here. So connect. Four more. For four, definitely feel like I'm going to take flight. Three, two, last one. Now remember, I go a little bit lower, so I hinge lower. Shoulders are down. I'm still drawing the shoulder blades down for four. Finding those triceps, but oh man, that left leg. Three, two, and one. Coming back. Now, we're going to come down to seated here. I'm going to take the straps and I'm going to bring them over my knees like this. I call these mad crunches or mad leg pulls. 
So the, the short loops are over my thighs. I'm going to scoot forward, bringing my bum to not quite all the way to the edge, but just in front of it. And I'm going to roll all the way back here like this. And hands come behind my head to support my neck. So I want to lift up in that C curve. Elbows are wide. I'm going to lengthen the legs long. I'm zipping those thighs together. I'm going to do four here. I'm going to inhale lower. Now I'm going to deflate my abdominals to lift. Zipping those legs tight. Inhale down. Zip. Two more. Deflate the abs right there. So it's not in the legs, it's all in that low tummy, those deep transverse abdominal muscles. Now I'm gonna lengthen it long. Now I'm gonna squeeze those thighs together, draw the knees in for four, three, two, one. Now from here I do little tiny reverse curls, working that deep, deep low tummy, starting from the pelvic floor into those transverse abdominal muscles one more good now this may seem strange i'm going to take the straps off before i come up hands are going to come into the long loops right here like this so my hands are here now i'm going to bring my hands behind my head my thumbs are hooked in behind my head to support my neck this actually supports my neck a little bit more than without the straps in my hands so from here same thing inhale lower Exhale, deflate the abdominals to lift. Now, typically in class, I've been doing sets of eight right here, but today for time's sake, we'll do four. So two more. Definitely can feel that tummy firing and burning. One more. Good. Now, I'm going to bring my hands to here like this. So I'm actively pulling at the ropes, connecting under the shoulders. My knees are going to come to tabletop. I'm going to do little toe dips. Drop the right leg. Exhale bring it back up inhale left leg there's no movement in my arms but you guys i'm definitely pressing the backs of my arms that direction so i feel the lats working one more each side last one now from here i'm going to lift up a tiny little teaser lifts i'm going to exhale lift inhale back down so as i lift i'm pressing my hands back to keep the arms steady. So you may not see my arms moving, but I am pulling the ropes as I lift. It's actually helping me, but I'm staying in that Pilates scoop. So I'm staying scooped, like dropping the low back this way. If I go that way, I can't do it. So I gotta keep that low back down. One more, I'm gonna come up to that Pilates scoop, hold it right there like that. Now I'm gonna bend my elbows, bringing them to my waist. I'm gonna reach it up for four, maintaining that Pilates scoop. I've got three, exhale as you lift right here. Two, last one right here, and one. What I like about this series is it really helps the clients understand about that Pilates scoop, where you draw the belly and lift the pubic bone and low, drop this part of your body right here. I know we, we shouldn't say as Pilates teachers, drop your low back, but sometimes that cue helps. Reach the low back to the box while lifting the pubic bone. It helps hollow out that low tummy to find that scoop. All right, so now we're gonna turn around this way here. So we're here. I'm straddling the box and I have one green spring on. I'm gonna start right here with salute. So my fingertips and thumbs are making a, a triangle. I'm gonna inhale lengthen. Typically I did eight today, but for time's sake, I'm gonna do four. So we've got three more for three. And one. Now, we're going to come up to high kneeling. However, if your clients feel comfortable staying seated, let them stay seated. Otherwise, if you want to challenge, we're going to come up a little bit higher. So I'm going to come up here like this. Again, my toes are going to curl over the back to give me a little extra stability. Connect under those shoulders. Before I add the arm work, I'm just going to practice coming up. So I'm going to reach up or lift up and then right back down. Now, as I lift, I'm going to reach the fingers here for four. Again, today I did sets of eight. Lifting for three, two, last one. Holding it right here, bringing it in and up for four. 
definitely heavier up here. Three, two, last one. Whew. All right, so now I'm gonna straddle the box and come down into a teaser position. So I'm gonna scoot all the way forward like this. So I'm not all the way to the front of my box. There's a little bit of room, but I'm pretty far forward. Got a little hair in my eye right there. All right, so now I'm gonna find that Pilates scoop. So if I'm sitting up tall like this, I can't keep my legs lifted. So that pelvis has to drop, scoop under to support my thighs, belly is drawn in. So it's like I'm zipping up those skinny jeans. We're right here like this. I'm gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, deflate the abdominals as I reach for four. Again, today I did eight to 10. Three, two, one. Hold it right here, lengthen the legs long. Now I lower, scoop those abs to lift for four, three, whoo, two, and one. Bring your feet onto the foot bar. Now I'm gonna bring my hands back to the shoulder blocks right here like this. So for someone who's not as tall as me, they can easily bring their hands here. But I want to keep that Pilates scoop while I do this next part. So I'm here like this. I'm in Pilates V. I'm gonna jump for four. Typically, today I did five, I did 10. Three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna jump off just the left leg here. I've got four, three, legs are feeling it now. Two, maintaining that Pilates scoop, and one. We're gonna add a little bicycle. So I go here and catch. Two more. Last one right here. Woo! Switching legs. All right. Jumping here for four. Stay, keep that scoop. Three, two, and one. Now starting here like this. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to repeat that one more time. Coming back to my teaser boat position. So I have that tail tucked under, belly drawn in. Exhale, lift. For four, whew, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Lengthen the legs. Inhale lower. Deflate the abs to lift. For four, legs are so tired. Three, whew, two, and one. Feet come on the foot bar. Hands come back to the shoulder blocks for me. You can also have your hands on the box. That's perfectly fine too. I shimmy forward just a hair. Now, I want to find that Pilates scoop and maintain that scoop while I jump. If I don't maintain that scoop, you guys, I start to slide back. Two more. Good. One leg right here. Four. Three two, and one. Going to the bicycle. Four, three, two, and one. Switching legs. Here we go. Four. Maintain that scoop. Three. Pubic bone up, low back down. Two, and one. All right, here we go. Ready? And switch. <laughs> I have to think about this one in my head or else I do not do it right. Last one. Whee! <laughs> All right, so now from here, we're going to reach forward like this. We're gonna go into a breaststroke. So I bring my hands here, and I'm just gonna come all the way down, thread my legs through those ropes. That's the easiest way to get into breaststroke. So um, now I'm gonna switch my springs to one red. So I take the ropes, bring them in one hand so that it closes the carriage all the way. Add the red take the green off and then bring my hands back into both loops back of my neck is long abdominals are tight come right here like this we're gonna do three in each direction for today typically I would do six I'm gonna inhale lengthen exhale open and circle bring your hands all the way to your thighs no wrinkles in the back of my neck inhale lengthen neck is long abdominals are tight draw those shoulder blades down one more here Now I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna take my hands up and then I'm gonna drop them down to the floor. And then up, reach the backs of your hands to the ceiling, then to the floor. One more. 
Now I'm going to go into an overhead press. So I'm right here like this, reaching the backs of my hands up as I reach forward. For four, I've got three, whew, two, last one right here, one. There you have it. I'm going to drop those ropes and I'm going to bring my hands onto my foot bar. I like to wiggle forward about an inch so my hands are on the foot bar. My feet are together because if you have long legs but like me, we're going to do some swan jumps. Your feet will hit the risers and that's not that comfortable. So fingertips are facing in, connect under those shoulders, neck is long, abdominals are tight. I'm going to practice the jump first. Now once I feel comfortable, I'm going to add a little lift. Lift it up for four and catch. I brace the impact with the muscles below my shoulder blades, the lats. Two more. Don't forget to breathe. Now we're going to open out to the side for four. Brace the impact. Two. Last one. Right there. Good. Now I'm going to take that spring off. If your reformer has a lock on the foot bar, put the lock in. So we have no springs on. We're going to go into a swan here. This is one of my favorite ways to do swan. There's no springs. My arms are straight. Now, even if I didn't have that lock on my foot bar, I shouldn't pull the foot bar out because I'm going to be applying pressure straight down into the foot bar. So my fingertips are long. I connect under my shoulders. The heels of my hands are on the foot bar. I don't want to use my fingers because that gives you the temptation to pull. So if your fingertips are long, you can't use your fingers. So inhale, Draw the shoulders, shoulder blades down, connect under the shoulder girdle. Exhale, press into the heels of your hands, lifting the entire spine up while closing the carriage. Big inhale at the top, exhale slowly, lower back down. Now I have arthritis in my low back. I have to be careful with extension exercises, but this feels okay because if you notice, my feet are lower than my hips, which means I'm not bending the low back too much. So it gives me a little bit of break right here allowing my legs to dip a little bit lower so it's a little easier on my low back I'm gonna do one more and I'm only gonna come halfway up now I'm gonna bend my elbows I'm gonna pull it in as I press down and then back out so now I'm definitely working those triceps we've got two more let's exhale draw it in <sighs> last one drawing those shoulder blades down towards my butt as I come in. Now I'm going to turn towards the camera. My right hand is going to come into the center of the foot bar. I'm going to turn this way here like this. So my left hand is going to be on the box to give me a little added stability for the first few reps. I'm going to inhale, prepare, connect under that shoulder. Exhale, press into the heel of my hand to lift up and then slowly come back down. I'm also lifting my extended leg, giving myself a little bit of waist work, butt work, but I'm also working right here. Now, if I wanna to add to it right here, I bring my hand on my head. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift, and then back down. I'm gonna do one more. Now, I'm gonna bring my hand down. I'm gonna come halfway down. I'm gonna bend the elbow, pull it in for three, working the tricep big time. Two, whoo, last one right here. Now there's so much that you could add to this series right here. You could do side lifts, side sit-ups, anything you want. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of potential for more work. Now I'm gonna to roll to the other side. There's no fancy way to get over there. You just wiggle on over. It's not super graceful, that's for sure. All right, so my left hand is on the foot bar. My right hand is on the box for a little bit of stability. I'm gonna connect under that shoulder, up and back down. Now that I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my hand on my head. Exhale, lift, lifting the foot at the same time. One more. Now I'm gonna come halfway down. I'm gonna bring my right hand back down and I'm gonna pull it in for three. Typically I would do six, two, working that tricep big time, and one. Now I'm gonna crawl on top of my box into child's pose and I'm gonna add a blue spring on. So that was a lot of extension. So I'm gonna give my back a little bit of a break. I'm gonna give myself a little stretch. A little breather ah, to catch my breath. 
Now, we're gonna go into some pikes and then we're gonna be done. So from here, I'm gonna come up. Hands come onto my foot bar, my knees come to the top of the box. I'm gonna do a couple cat cows. So I'm gonna drop my head round my back, drawing my belly to my spine right there. Nice big cat. Now exhale, lift your head and your tail and get a nice stretch. And again, inhale, drop your head, draw the belly to your spine, round that back. And then exhale. One more here now. We're gonna stay in that cat position right here. Now from here, I'm gonna open the carriage. I'm gonna deflate my abdominals, press the pelvis forward, cinching that tummy. Inhale, open. Think about drawing your pubic bone to your belly button. So you're cinching, you're shortening your waist right there. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it back in. Now that we've got the idea, we're gonna bring our feet in the center of our box, coming up to a plank. Find a comfortable plank. I have my feet together, my thighs are zipped together to activate those inner thighs, so I activate the pelvic floor. Inhale for nothing. Exhale, scoop the abdominal, squeeze the thighs together as you lift up. Inhale, open. Exhale, let's squeeze those thighs together, deflate the abdominals and lift. So the lifting of the hips draws the toes back under, not the other way around. One more here. I'm gonna go into some tucks. Let's tuck it under for three. Tuck it under for two. Tuck it under for one. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna hold it right here. Now I'm gonna turn my hips and toes towards the camera. So I'm in a side plank. I'm gonna pike my hips up for three. I'm slowly distributing more weight into my back hand than my right hand so I can work the right waist a little bit more. I'm gonna do one more, we're almost there. Now I'm gonna take my right hand, bring it to the center of my foot bar. Slowly, if I feel comfortable, I reach this hand out and I'm just gonna hold, hold it. Now I'm gonna thread the needle without moving the carriage. So I'm gonna inhale, reach down, exhale, lift. A lot of work for that right arm. Inhale, reaching down, exhale, lift. One more only. I'm gonna come back to my center plank. I'm not gonna stop at the center. I'm gonna continue moving all the way to the other side because people's hands get pretty tired at this point. Inhale for nothing, pressing into the back hand. I'm gonna lift it up for three. Lifting it up for two. Last one right here. All of my weight is in that back hand, isolating that left side. Now I put my left hand to the center, reach my right hand to the ceiling. Pause for a breath, <sighs> thread the needle, inhale, reach down. I'm wringing my abdominal muscles out like a sponge and open. <sighs> inhale, reach under. I'm gonna try and touch the person behind me and open. <sighs> Last one right here. <sighs> and then, whew, take a break right here. We are all done with taking flight.